Hey guys, Henny and Morton from Flip Normals here. In this video, we're just going to check out how to use the Flip Normal Sliding Scene 2.04 Moto. This is going to work pretty much for all versions of Moto, uh, but this is made for version 11. So the setup here is incredibly easy. We um, you drag in your model, wherever that might be from, it's for, for Maya or Seabrush or whatnot, and you drag it under the, the Geo Group character, and we have a 360 turntable, and here you just put in your model. So what this, what this is gonna do is, this is gonna simply just animate your model. You now have 120 frames of animation here, which is really handy whenever you wanna update anything. In this version of the lightning scene as well, we also included um, a Chrome Ball, a gray sphere and a Macbeth chart. For the Macbeth chart, you're just gonna have to go into the shader tree here and under Macbeth, hit the Macbeth, Macbeth as RGB and um, replace image and just find under the publish, under Moto uh, Macbeth and just select your sRGB. So then it should be up and running. You have to be in the render layout tab and the way this works is we, we've, we've assigned separate um, separate lights to various render passes here. So if we go to the neutral one, what this is going to do here, this is simply just assigning a, se a separate shader, which you can find under the characters here, under uh, character, and we have a bunch of shaders here. So the visibility of these is simply just toggled on and off, but depending on which render pass it is. So if we now just hit uh, the pause button here, just so we'll start rendering, we're now going to see what this looks like. So in just a few seconds, we, we now have a fairly nice render like this. We can change this to any one of the other ones. Like we can change this to, uh, uh, I really like um, this one. So this just gives us a really nice high contrast look. You can see on a website, all the various ones you can get here, but essentially you get you get 20 light setups here, uh, but that's, that's just a starting point. You have 20 ones here, but the moment you start to rotate some light, you start turning on and off various lights here and there, and you start playing with the color of the lights, uh, you start changing with the materials up around, you have basically unlimited amounts of, of options when it comes to getting very creative light setups up and running. So we also have two cameras. We have a standard camera here and we have a close-up camera. So if we, by default, we're gonna be using the standard camera, but if you change this to close-up cam, uh, we now get a different camera, which has depth of field enabled. So we can change this up here as well to close-up camera. And then we can go to under groups here, we have a camera and close-up. And if we go to camera effects, you can see here that depth of field has been enabled and you have the focus distance. The way we change the focus distance is the easiest thing in the world. You just hover over where you want it in the preview render and you just hit control F. So now you can see that if you look to the right here, you can see that the camera changes. If I hit a background, it changes to, it changes to five meters to six meters. So very handy stuff. So if you want to focus on the eye here, you simply just hit control F on the eye and that's it. If you want to change the, the amount of blur, you change the f-stop, you just reduce this number. The lower the number, the blurrier it's going to be. Uh, but also, this is also tied up to um, to the camera in a way that it also is also going to make it brighter as well. So you're going to have to balance this up uh, when it comes to the brightness of your image. So just be aware of that. So essentially, to sum this up, we drag our character under the geometry, character, turntable, and you just put it there. You change this to whatever camera you want, and then we just go through and we just select which render uh, setup we want for this.